Hello reefers, welcome back to the channel. I've got another experiment coming to you from the Reef Spy Laboratories. Have you ever wondered if you could grow coral outside in direct sunlight? Well, I have. So I've gone ahead and set up a 10 gallon frag tank out by the pond. There's nothing special going on here. I just took 10 gallons of tank water from the 180 gallon display during yesterday's water change. I place it in here with some live rock rubble from the sump. That's my old skimmer stand where I'm going to be placing the frags. I've got a glass top on there to help aid in reducing the evaporation. And a small power head in there, which is uh, for water movement. And I've got this little tube coming out, which I could adjust to allow bubbles to come in there to help with oxygen exchange. And that's pretty much it. This is the power head I'll be using here. It's really the only piece of equipment I plan on running. This will be used for water movement and oxygen exchange. As far as lighting and heating, that's really going to be up to Mother Nature. Today is an overcast day and the temperature is pretty much spot on at about 78 degrees Fahrenheit or 25.5 degrees Celsius. I have no way of controlling the temperature out here, and on a warm day, uh, this tank can overheat quickly. And if you've watched the movie Chasing Corals, um, well, you're probably well aware of how bad that can be for the coral health. But we're going to give it a shot anyway and see what happens. It is late July right now, and this experiment can only run till the end of September, maybe into October. Uh, before it's going to start to get too cold um, to continue on, at which point I'll just break this down, and if anything is uh, alive or thriving, uh, I'll bring it inside and put it into one of my display tanks. Since this water came from my display tank, I know what the starting parameters are, and they are 9 dKH, 450 calcium, and 1455 magnesium. They're is about 25 nitrates and I think 0.2 phosphates so maybe I will also put a little bit of macroalgae in here to help absorb them so this doesn't just turn into a tank full of green hair algae. All right that's enough talk I'm gonna go pick out some test subjects and put them in here. I've taken a few random pieces from the frag tank uh, nothing in here that I will cry over if I lose it. So I just have some Montiporas, um, some Digitata I think is in there, a couple birds nests, screen star polyps, Kenya tree, a candy cane. I took some red uh, grape calerpola, macroalgae. I think there's a snail in there. And yeah, some of these things were doing great. Um, others, you know, maybe they don't have the right color. And we're going to see what uh, natural sunlight does for them if it helps them out um, if they don't make it I don't know we'll find out though so if you're interested to see what happens with them uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll check back in a week or so see how things are doing or if you want to make a prediction uh, go ahead and leave a comment even if you think this is a silly idea um, let me know why and I figure let's have some fun with it since it isn't costing anything to try. So I'll just leave it with some closer shots so you can see what we're starting with. And if things do well, uh, maybe I'll add a couple of nicer pieces to the tank. So before I sign off, I just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.